Let's be ready for this. We are to review. How are you doing guys welcome back to my YouTube channel. And for people who are new to my YouTube channel hey I'm Victor and I love movies and series if you love them too click the subscribe button and do the thumbs up I would really appreciate it. Now let's get back to the review. The Beekeeper is about Adam Clay he is a retired state agent who used to work for a powerful and clandestine organization known as Beekeepers. Now he spends his days as a beekeeper. A kindly woman who has been caring for him becomes the victim of a fishing scam one day and takes her own life. Clay subsequently begins a one-man war to make those responsible pay. First, let's talk about what's good about this movie. Jason Statham is just a badass as always and there are some pretty solid action scenes in this movie. The villains are also really villains you want to see beaten up, what they do really can't be done. Also, this movie has a pretty solid cast think Jeremy Irons and Jason Statham of course. This movie was directed by David Ayer the guy who had made Suicide Squad which was also kind of fun. Now on to what was really bad in this movie. Let's start with the characters. You know what you expect from a Jason Statham movie a very shred thin story and lots of action and an interesting character. Speaking of an interesting character this movie really didn't have that. Adam Clay Jason's character has a good relationship with a somewhat older woman named Eloise Parker. She gets scammed by some scammers and a little later she commits suicide. Adam is angry and goes after the scammers. What goes wrong here is that we don't see any of the good relationship these characters are supposed to have with each other. They only speak a few words to each other and not even 5 minutes later she is already dead. You therefore feel nothing for Adam which makes this movie difficult and bad to watch. The acting is also really bad, Jason Statham can't act that well anyway in my opinion at least I've never seen that maybe he can. But with someone like Jeremy Irons who is an Oscar winner you expect something more. He had very little screen time and the screen time he had he really didn't utilize. It was a very flat character. All the characters didn't work in this movie including the FBI agents. What also made this movie really boring and bad to watch was how Jason Statham could single-handedly take down anyone but I mean anyone without a scratch even an FBI SWAT team. This was so implausible and boring because you know he will survive anyway and be able to achieve his goal. Lastly the dialogue was also really bad. Before I rate this movie click the subscribe button and do the thumbs up I will really appreciate it. Also please follow me on my Instagram and TikTok the names are here in this video or in the description. I give this movie a C on the entertainment scale it is a 4.5 out of 10. All in all this movie is really bad and not even streaming worthy I would skip it there are much better action movies than this one. I hope you guys like this review. Please let me know in the comments below what other movies I should review and don't forget to subscribe it's free. Also please give a thumbs up I would really appreciate it. The movies I saw last year I am too late to review so those will be on my plus channel. I will continue to review this year's movies on this channel so I hope to see you again next time. And as always, bye bye.